Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I've got a big Costco haul <laughs> to share with you. So buckle up, get your drinks, strap in. <laughs> I'm going to share it with you what I got. I spent around $850, which I realize sounds like a lot. However, uh, a big portion of that went to this item that I'm going to share with you now. So as you guys know, we have been working on our basement and it's coming along nicely. We are so happy that this is almost done <laughs> down here, but I walked in the door at Costco and I saw these subwoofers on sale for, I think they were $169. And so I texted Adam and I was like, do, do you need one of these for the basement? And he's like, hold on, let me look. So he looked it up online. He said that it was good price and it had good reviews. And so he would take it because he needs one for this whole audio setup right here. There's gonna be a projector up here and then there'll be a screen on the wall. You can see there's already um, speakers that we had installed when the house was built. And so he'll have like the center channel right here and then, I don't know, he knows how to set all that stuff up. So anyway, that was what part of the money was for because obviously <laughs> That was what $170 plus tax of it. So I wanted to share that before I shared with you the rest of the stuff All right, so here is the rest of everything that I got. So we'll start down here with the food uh, I did get some of the Kirkland uh, Whole cashews. These are really good and I told you guys that we're trying to eat more like non-processed foods and the kids actually really like these. Sometimes I put them in their lunch boxes and they're good to make like homemade trail mix and stuff like that. So I went ahead and grabbed these since I was there. Costco is a great place to buy nuts like this because you can get a large quantity for a good price. Okay, I went back and forth on whether I wanted to <laughs> buy this or not. Uh, this is the shoyu ramen with chicken. And we've had this before and it's totally delicious. There are six bowls in there and you just fill it up with water and microwave it. It is surprisingly delicious for a microwave ramen. You can see it has like big chunks of chicken in it. And ultimately I decided to get it because it didn't have any added sugar in it. I know that there's carbs um, and regular flour from the noodles. But something like this is a good option for lunch for Adam and I, um, and I think it's better than <laughs> some of the things we could eat. So I went ahead and got that. It's really good if you um, make it and then put some hot sauce in it. Delicious, like sriracha, yum. Uh, I also got some Red Bull. Adam usually likes to have an energy drink in the morning, so I got him the sugar-free Red Bull. I did pick up the Stonyfield uh, Kids Yogurt Tubes. These are on sale for $5.99. There's 24 in there, which I thought was a great price. And these had only four grams of added sugar per tube, which is a lot better than some of the Go-Gurt ones and stuff like that. And it's a lot better for sure than the um, YoPlay or the Chobani Flips or anything like that. So these are just convenient to throw in the kids' lunch boxes. There's 12 strawberry and 12 mixed berry in there, and they don't expire till the end of February. So I thought that would be good. The next thing I got were these crepini, I think is how you say it, egg wraps with cauliflower. So the reason I got these is because I saw someone on YouTube making a keto lasagna with these. <laughs> Instead of um, lasagna noodles, they were using these egg wraps. And I thought, OMG, <laughs> that is a revolutionary idea. What a great way to make a low carb lasagna. And so I looked online at my hy V and my Walmart here in town and they did not have these. So when I saw them at Costco, I was like, oh, I have to get those. So I know that I've seen people do different things with these, like make breakfast sandwiches and stuff. So let me know if you've tried these and what you use them for, but I'm planning on using them for a low carb lasagna. So I'll film that and let you guys know how it turns out. Um, I also got some pork chops. So these were on sale for $3 off per package. So I ended up getting seven and a half pounds of pork loin chops for like $16, which is a fabulous price. And these are super thick. I got the thick ones on purpose because I thought that Adam could put them in the smoker um, and smoke them, or we could put them in the slow cooker or something like that. They also had different ones that were like thin cut, but these are the ones I decided to get. So I'll freeze these for now. I don't have a plan for them 
right now, but they'll do fine in the freezer until we're ready to use them. I also got some cucumbers. Uh, this is definitely a staple uh, snack and side for us. I have some hummus that I made this weekend in the fridge, so I like to cut this up and we use it with hummus. I put it in the kids' lunch boxes. Um, definitely not eating as many like packaged treats and foods and stuff like that. What I found is that we're going through produce a lot faster, which is good. It's just I have to um, kind of keep more on hand than I normally would, which is fine. I will gladly <laughs> buy it instead of the packaged stuff. Um, I also bought this. I kind of went back and forth on whether I should buy this or not, but ultimately I really like Caesar salad and this is something that I can have for lunch or I can also make as a side for dinner. So this is the Earthbound Farm Caesar salad kit. It comes with romaine, Caesar dressing, croutons, shredded parmesan, and some seasoning. Um, I've had this particular kind before and it's really, really good. I would recommend it. They had these bags of peppers. They are um, six peppers in there. I think this was $5.99, which is a pretty great price. And you get two orange, two red, and two yellow. This is another favorite snack, especially for my kids. Um, I stick it in their lunchbox. I use this in cooking. And then uh, we also will cut these up and have them with hummus as well. I also got some frozen broccoli florets. And there are six, I believe, there's six one-pound packages in here. I've actually never purchased these before, but I've seen other people purchase them and say that they're good. Um, I'm trying to keep more frozen veggies like this on hand. I don't, I, I, I normally keep green beans, but I haven't been good about keeping other veggies. And so this is always something quick to throw in the microwave if I need a side for dinner and frozen broccoli is good too. So no worries there. Um, I also got these Red's Keto Friendly Egg Witch. I don't know if we've had these before. I feel like maybe we have, but they are basically turkey sausage with cheese and then instead of bread, or a biscuit it's two egg patties so there's eight in there I can't remember exactly how much these were there are the nutrition facts if you're interested in that um, it looks like they have three grams of carbs oh wow that's really good no added sugar so I don't know if this would be something the kids would eat Connor might eat it um, but definitely Adam and I will for breakfast um, I wanted to get some fish and they had a couple different kinds I was looking at they had a miso flavored cod and then they also had this tortilla crusted tilapia I believe we've had this one before and it's good but this one actually had less sugar and carbs than the miso cod which is why I decided to go with this but this is a really quick dinner you can throw this in the oven or the air fryer uh, make some veggies or salad on the side and you're good to go and both my kids really like fish so um, no worries there. They, they're not big on shrimp. Connor will eat shrimp. Kira's like kind of meh about it, but definitely fish like this they will both eat. I also decided to get a bag of pears. Um, this is quite a large bag. Pears are so expensive when I buy them in the regular grocery store, and so it's much more cost effective to get them like this. Um, they're not quite ripe yet, but that's fine. They will ripen as we eat them. Um, I forget how much this was. I want to say it was this was six pounds for like six. $5.99 or something like that so definitely not bad I got a package of the thick sliced bacon they have a bunch of different bacon varieties at Costco they have like the Kirkland kind they have you know different like artisan style type thick ones I decided to go with the thick cut Kirkland just because I like how the thick cut um, cooks up better in the oven so I don't have any specific plan for this but I'll stick it in the freezer and we will eat it for breakfast at some point um, along with the cashews, I decided to get some dry roasted almonds. Um, I was going to get the smoked almonds, and then I decided to get these instead. They're just roast, roasted and salted because the kids will eat these. And I was thinking about making like some trail mix with maybe some like craisins and nuts and maybe some of those lilies, um, sugar-free chocolate chips. So I may do that, but this will last us a while. So I got that. I also picked up this package of late July sea salt multigrain tortilla chips. I don't know that we've tried this kind before. Um, they don't have any added sugar and I wouldn't necessarily call this a health food, but I would say that they have a little bit more fiber in them than a regular tortilla chip. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Um, they're good to have on hand if you want to have like chips and salsa for a snack or sometimes we make nachos with them too. Um, I was excited to see the, do you say Cara Cara or Cara Cara? 
Caracara Cara oranges, that's how I'm going to say it. They are the ones that are pink on the inside, and I was watching Leanne from Grady's Mom. If you guys don't watch her channel, definitely check it out. She does a lot of great grocery hauls, but she was saying that she really likes these right now and that um, they're really sweet and good. So I got these. They It's a huge package, eight pounds, so it's going to take us a while to go through this, but oranges keep really well in the refrigerator, so I'm not necessarily worried about them spoiling. I decided to get a bag of Brussels sprouts. Uh, my sister was telling me there is a recipe in the Instant Loss cookbook that's like sweet chili Brussels sprouts. I think you make it in the Instant Pot. Um, and I've always been wanting to try that and I just haven't yet. So I decided to get these and I'll try that recipe. I'll definitely film it for you and let you guys know how it turns out. But this is a um, two pound bag of Brussels sprouts. I think everyone actually really likes them. Kira, she's kind of like meh, but Connor really likes them. I like them and Adam likes them, so we'll find some use for them. I also got these Grillo's pickles. These are really good, and I have gotten the spears before, but these dill chips are good as well on like burgers and sandwiches and even like for snacking, that kind of thing. So I grabbed those. I did also get some sharp cheddar cheese. Um, we eat cheese a lot anyway, and it's more cost effective to get it at Costco. This is a two pound block, and I think it was around $5.99. Okay, so I did get the queso mama, <laughs> white queso, and obviously I wouldn't necessarily call this a health food, but again, we're applying the 80-20 slash 90-10 rule, and if you're actually looking for a low-carb queso, this is um, pretty low-carb. They actually kind of label it as low-carb on the container, but it only has one carb per serving um, and zero grams of added sugar. But if you're looking for a queso, this is really good. I've purchased it multiple times. It takes us forever to get through this um, you know, container, but it does stay well in the fridge for a while and then you can just microwave it. Um, I also got these Choc Keto Choc XO snaps. It's dark chocolate with coconut, almonds, and sea salt. So these, um, two snaps are three grams of net carbs and only three grams of added sugar. So let me know if you guys have tried these. We haven't, but I thought they would be um, a good treat, especially for Adam, who's trying to do lower carb right now. Okay, I also got some of the Lacanto Le Le uh, monk fruit sweetener. If you're looking for this type of sugar replacement, Costco is a really great place to get it. It's, I wanna say this is $6.99 or $5.99 for this almost two pound bag. It's a lot cheaper than I can get it in my regular grocery store and I always like to keep this on hand especially if I want to do like low sugar baking or something like that so grab that I also got this 10 pack of the beef and cheddar Jack Link's sticks um, these are not super cheap I want to say they're around $7.99 per package or something like that but they come with 10 of these little packages with beef and cheddar in there um, I also got some of the sparkling ice. Adam really likes this. This is the um, new mix. It's got strawberry, watermelon, black cherry, and lemon lime. And it looks like there's 18 in there. I also got some LaCroix for myself. I'm totally out of sparkling water. That can never happen. <laughs> there's uh, several different varieties in there. There's hibiscus, limoncello, which is my very favorite, um, and then the watermelon flavored one, which is good too. And then I also almost forgot that I needed this, but I'm glad I remembered while I was there. So I got some of the um, K-Cups. The Starbucks Pike Place are my favorite, and we are almost, we actually only have one <laughs> K-Cup left, so we definitely needed those. And then I got some berries. So they had strawberries there, but I already have some of those in the fridge right now. The problem I always have with Costco is that it's like 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes away from me, and so... I don't go there super often. Um, if I could, I would probably buy more of my produce there, but I don't want to overbuy stuff, especially like berries that don't stay <laughs> good very long because they'll just go bad and then it's just a waste. But we were all out of blueberries and I've been eating these in the morning on my yogurt. The kids have been taking them in their lunch. Um, so these are organic blueberries, 18 ounces. Um, those look good, so I got those. And then I also got some raspberries. The kids um, really like these and Again, I'll put them in their lunches. I've been trying to do um, bento box lunches for them. So just like lots of fruit and veggies and protein and maybe like some cubed cheese. And that's been working really well instead of like sandwiches and chips. 
I also got Adam some whiskey. I always look at the different kinds of whiskey that they have there because he likes to collect and drink like kind of rare um, different kinds of whiskey. So they had this Jefferson's Ocean aged at sea. So I sent him a picture of that. He said, yeah, go ahead and get it. I also sent him a picture of this uh, Angel's Envy. He said this one is super hard to get and they actually had a limit one of this particular bottle. So I got him both of those. Uh, okay, so I was looking for this at Christmas time and I couldn't find it. It's the Star Wars uh, Lego Mandalorian, the child. So this was on a last chance sale type deal. So I went ahead and got this for Connor. He was super excited when I showed it to him. He has the regular Yoda Lego, which is about the same size as this one, but I went ahead and got this for him and he was, yes, he was very excited about that. He loves Legos. We need to actually get him some better like display options in his room so he can display all of them. Of course, then I have to dust them all, but <laughs> he'll be excited to um, put this one together. Um, I got Murphy some more of the dental chews. So he normally has one of these a day and I've been out for a little while. We sometimes buy the greenies, but whenever I'm at Costco, I go ahead and get the Kirkland brand because they're just as good and they're a lot cheaper. You get 72 in there. I believe this is $22.99 for the box. So a lot cheaper than the greenies. I also got some kitchen um, trash bags. We always like to get our trash bags from Costco. They are really good quality and they last forever. You get 200 bags in there. These are the 13 gallon size. We have a two trash can pull out in our island. So um, it's nice to have a bunch of these on hand for when we need them. I also got some Charmin Ultra Strong. They had actually this and the Charmin Ultra Soft, which I was a little bit surprised because it's been hard for me to find toilet paper when I go to Sam's and Costco. So I went ahead and grabbed a package of that. They had a limit one on this too. Um, I also got some of the Ziploc gallon freezer bags. I have a bunch of the quart and sandwich bags right now, but I'm running low on the gallon ones. So I picked that up. There's four boxes in there. So this will last me quite a while. I also got some of the Kirkland, um, plastic silverware. And I like to keep this on hand, especially for the kids lunch boxes. I can't tell you how many times I've sent regular silverware to school and it doesn't come back. So I would prefer to send this. Um, and this comes with 360 pieces and you get 180 forks, 120 spoons and 60 knives, which is kind of nice because you know, obviously you don't use the knives as frequently, but this will last us for quite a while. I just keep this in the pantry and then we go through it as we need it. Um, I also got a package of the Clorox bleach um, tablets. You drop these in your toilet tank and they'll stay good in there for um, I think about three months actually and it just releases bleach into the water gradually and then every time you flush your toilet there's bleach in it. So I like these. I would recommend them. Okay, I got Connor some shirts. Um, they had these Adidas shirts on sale for $7.99 which I thought was a good price for an Adidas t-shirt. So I got him that one. It's not showing up right on the camera, um, but it's black. And then this one is a navy with orange stripe and it's actually long sleeved and it has a hood on it. So that will be good for him. And then I also got him this um, dark gray Adidas one. So got those for him. And then I got Kira these Adidas joggers. They're just black with the stripe down the side. Um, she actually likes wearing these with her new Chuck Taylors that she got. So fashionable. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what's fashionable. Um, okay. And then I did pick up these Nordic Wear pizza pans. There were two. There are two that come in here. There's one that's like a regular pizza pan and then one with like the vent holes in it. And I want to try some different types of pizza crust. Like I have a whole wheat one I want to try and one with cassava flour that I want to try. So I thought I would get these. I have never had like legit pizza pans before. I've always just had like the cheap $5 pizza pans from Walmart. So, um, <laughs> so now I can uh, run with the big dogs and their pizza pans, I guess, whatever that means. So I got those and I will be looking forward to using those. So yeah, that is what I got from Costco. That's all I have to share with you guys today. Let me know if you've been there recently and what your favorite finds are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.